Welcome to Proper Probing Techniques with Backcountry Access. Hi folks, Steve Christie here from Backcountry Access. We're continuing our multi-part series on proper beacon search technique, proper probing technique, and proper shoveling technique. This is our section on proper probing technique. Uh, before we get into it, I want to point out a couple of important things. First and foremost, avalanche equipment should always be carried inside your backpack so it's not torn off your body in case you're caught in an avalanche. And secondly, let's define what an avalanche probe is for. It's for finding the exact depth and location of an avalanche victim. Avalanche beacons aren't measuring devices. Avalanche probes are, okay? Enjoy this part and uh, we'll be back in a little bit with shoveling technique. There are two key points in proper probing technique. The first is to always probe perpendicular to the snow surface, not plumb. The second is after your first probe hole, probe 10 inches or 25 centimeters apart in concentric circles. Concentric circle probing is an organized technique for probing. Here's an example of how it would work until a positive strike is received. Remember that an avalanche probe is most effective when used in conjunction with an avalanche beacon. If you have buried avalanche victims that don't have avalanche transceivers, you've only got two choices to work with. The first is to spot probe likely burial areas like the upside of a tree or piles of debris stuffed around the snow field. If you don't find them that way, you're going to have to call a search and rescue unit in and it takes an awful lot of time to pull those people to come and find them. So, Keep in mind, always travel with a beacon, shovel, probe, and smart companions. 